The Battle of Gallipoli was a major military campaign fought during World War I. It was an attempt by the Allied powers to control the Dardanelles, a strait that connects the Aegean Sea to the Sea of Marmara and the Black Sea. The Allies hoped to open a supply route to Russia, which was fighting against the Central Powers. The Allies launched a naval attack on the Dardanelles on February 19, 1915. The attack failed, and the Allies decided to launch an amphibious invasion of the Gallipoli Peninsula. The invasion began on April 25, 1915, and it lasted for eight months. The Allied forces were composed of British, French, and Australian and New Zealand troops. The Turkish defenders were led by Mustafa Kemal Ataturk, who later became the founder of the Republic of Turkey. The Allies made several tactical mistakes during the battle. They underestimated the strength of the Turkish defenses, and they failed to coordinate their land and naval forces effectively. The Allies also suffered from poor planning and execution. The battle ended on January 9, 1916, with the evacuation of the Allied forces. The Allies suffered over 250,000 casualties, while the Turks suffered over 300,000 casualties. The Battle of Gallipoli was a strategic failure for the Allies. It failed to achieve its goal of opening a supply route to Russia, and it led to the loss of many lives. However, the battle had a significant impact on the course of the war. It helped to strengthen the Turkish nationalist movement, and it led to the rise of Mustafa Kemal Ataturk. The Allies made several tactical mistakes during the Battle of Gallipoli. One of the most important mistakes was their underestimation of the strength of the Turkish defenses. The Turks had built a strong network of trenches and fortifications along the Gallipoli Peninsula. The Allies failed to adequately prepare for these defenses, and they suffered heavy casualties as a result. Another tactical mistake by the Allies was their failure to coordinate their land and naval forces effectively. The Allies planned to use their naval forces to bombard the Turkish defenses and to support the land invasion. However, the naval bombardment was ineffective, and it failed to weaken the Turkish defenses. The land invasion was also poorly coordinated, and it failed to achieve its objectives. The Allies also suffered from poor planning and execution. The Allied commanders failed to develop a clear plan for the invasion, and they failed to effectively communicate their plans to their troops. This led to confusion and chaos on the battlefield, and it contributed to the Allied defeat. The Battle of Gallipoli was a strategic failure for the Allies. It failed to achieve its goal of opening a supply route to Russia. This was a major setback for the Allies, as it meant that Russia would have to continue to rely on its own resources to fight the war. The battle also led to the loss of many lives. The Allies suffered over 250,000 casualties, while the Turks suffered over 300,000 casualties. This was a significant loss for both sides, and it had a negative impact on morale. The Battle of Gallipoli had a significant impact on the course of the war. It helped to strengthen the Turkish nationalist movement, and it led to the rise of Mustafa Kemal Ataturk. Ataturk later led the Turkish forces to victory in the Turkish War of Independence, and he became the founder of the Republic of Turkey. The Battle of Gallipoli was a major military campaign that had a significant impact on the course of World War I. The battle was a tactical and strategic failure for the Allies, but it had a number of important consequences.